previously on From Pencils for Production. Remember it's a double elimination. So PM, you are safe this week. Caleb, you are safe this week and you are the winner of this week's challenge. Justin, you have made it to the next challenge. Ariel, this week you are eliminated. Monet. Great job um, and lots for you to think about. Um, you are unfortunately eliminated this week. To go through what the grand prizes are going to be, the first is a $1,000 cash prize. The next is a feature in Blue Magazine. And tonight we have the owner and founder of Blue Magazine with us, Mr. Davon Johnson. He's going to be talking to you tonight. And we have a year-long subscription to the 3D digital design software, Browseware. And then the last, and I think the best of all of these prizes is the mentorship with all of the judges. Tonight's topic is funding. Uh, Devon is going to be talking to you about that. I will say congratulations. I didn't know we were down to uh, three contestants already. Uh, Casey went chopping away, I see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> having like your house in order and like that's like your paperwork. One of the things that we don't do, and to talk with myself also as a creative, is we have this amazing product and we have this amazing thing that we want to sell and it looks good and it's great and it's shiny. But when you lift the hood up, it's like so disorganized. And if you know if someone is going to invest in a company or even getting a grant or even getting a bank loan, they're going to ask for certain paperwork and you need to have it readily available. Because just like you, there are dozens of other people contacting those same, contacting those same people for, for investment. So so my thing is just make sure you have like your, your, your house in order. And it's like simple as maybe having a bank account, right? And having your, your tax ID um, and having just a landing page for your website. Because when you begin, because when you're not there, your brand represents you when they go to do the research about what they're going to invest in. And you want to make sure that those things are set up. We want to know about your first or signature product that you want to launch and how you're going to get your currency to produce that or promote it. And I'm saying currency because as we were just speaking about, you don't necessarily, everything is not necessarily about money. So is it a Kickstarter? Is it your grandma who's really great with money? However you want to do that. So whatever that signature product is and how you are going to, what creatively, how you are going to um, come up with some ways to promote it and to launch it. All right, so you have 30 minutes. You have four minutes to present this. I want to remind you that Caleb already has a spot in the finale. Yeah. And then Justin and PM, you guys are duking it out for that last spot. So good luck, everyone. Guys, I think this is a great challenge, but I'm a little nervous because somebody's gonna go home and it's not gonna be Caleb, it's only gonna be me or PM, it, so it's going down. I don't know, I gotta get started right now. And honestly, I think I got this in the bag because you know I've been studying this business stuff, you know, the fashion side of things, um, how I'm gonna develop my brand and how to grow it. So I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, praise to God, praise to the universe. I think. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put my best foot forward and see what we got. We got this. Hello everyone, my name is Philip Michael. Um, I am going to present my signature item that I'm hoping to launch with my brand to help provide me funding and to kind of push me to the next level is the Alter Bodysuit. Um, <clears throat> So this bodysuit is really inspired for evening wear, really going out. Um, I'm constantly out with my friends and going out with uh, other people that we're, whether we're going from one fashion show to the next, but we don't have time to go back uptown to 
really change our entire look. I really wanted to create something that really could kind of give you that instant gratification without having to carry a whole bunch of stuff with you uh, while you're out and about. So starting off with how I really want to kind of get my brand out there and provide awareness, I wanted to use my best friend and um, use uh, B Hawk, who is a uh, model and a non-binary uh, trans activist and entertainer. They have a large following on social media. As far as grants and fundings, um, I saw one grant that really spoke out to me. It's the Black Enterprise Elevator Pitch. Um, I would not uh, not only with this uh, competition as well as uh, other instances I've had to practice elevator pitches, and I think this will be a really great way to kind of. Uh, get my brand out there and get the funding that I need. I like it. Nice. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome. Next is going to be Caleb. Hello. My name is Caleb Brian Wells, and my brand is CRW or Caleb Brian Wells. So, for our signature products, um, our signature products are, you know, our products are going to be changing, but we want you to, be, we want to be your stop for tailored garments. So, you know, whether that's a tailored jacket, a tailored dress or gown, we want to be, you know, that, that brand that you know you can always turn to when you have a special occasion coming your way. For our aspirational products, like featured in the picture before, we're going to be focusing on headwear and accessories, um, specifically head wraps and do-rags. These products promote a sense of community and history um, amongst the customers. Uh, we really want to go back to our roots and promote, you know, Afro heritage as much as possible. For our sweat equity, um, this is my best friend, um, soulmate and business partner, um, Alexis, and she's been a key member of my business and a best friend my entire life. Um, she's been a muse, model, and my social media expert for years and years. And she has helped me so much um, in our planning for our PR campaign. Along with that, we are planning some pop-up shops and fashion shows in the upcoming month. Uh, We're trying to coincide a little bit with Fashion Week, so in February. Um, me and some of my friends in Michigan, we a lot of us have different um, fashion brands and we want to create a big community of us to come together and promote ourselves and promote queer and black owned businesses. I'm, I'm happy to see, I will say this, Caleb, I, I feel like um, I see some involvement quickly uh, over the last, I guess we're at five episodes from where you started to where you are now. Um, and obviously you, you, when you dream, you dream alone. And so not everyone can see the vision or when you, you dream it, but to now see uh, you begin to articulate it um, and to really dig down deeper into what you are, you really stand for and what your business is about. Um, it's, 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 it's quite interesting and fulfilling to be able to be a part of, of that and to see that. that uh, agree. Thank you Great. so much. I feel like I've really learned a lot throughout this competition. Um, I feel like I can be pretty camera shy. <laughs> so I feel like um, really getting out there and having to like go out of my comfort zone, I really feel like I've, I've grown a lot. You know, I saw this the last time on the last challenge and I didn't get a chance to say much about it, but I see you're like posed in front of your, uh, some of your work. Want to give I us am. a little, a little uh, talk about what they are? Yeah, so this is like one of my favorite jackets I've ever made. Um, it is, I made it a few years ago, but it was inspired by like some um, in my city in Grand Rapids. They do like, there's this huge art competition called Art Prize. And um, they've just been putting up a lot of art around the city. So there was this um, like half finished, um, like electrical box someone was painting a mural on. And so I was like, oh my God, it was just a gray box. And it had this like bright pink paint, like splattered all over it. I was like, oh my God, I love this. Dude, I'm in Atlanta. Good. Oh, how do you like Atlanta? I forgot you were there. Uh, I'm chilling. I couldn't really, you know, get comfortable until after this episode. Cause it's just like always in my mind, like, you know, like, just like, same. It's like, I can't, I was trying to do everything in possible hell to get my mind off of it, but. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs>
the new silhouette built by Xander. Um, the headwear accessory, accessory for elevated streetwear fanatics. Built by Xander is a unicorn brand that is reimagining the headwear accessory market for creative fashion enthusiasts. They value quality, craftsmanship, and uniqueness. My customer is fluid, experimental, and bold. They take pride in themselves and express their individuality. This is my product. It is a bandana hood, and I use many different products to create this. It's currently selling for $52, and my cost per product is right now $350 in raw materials, and it cost me about $10 to $5 in manufacturing cost. So we're looking at about a $30 to $35 uh, profit margin. My demographic is 18, um, a majority being 18 to 24, but also 25 to 35, and majority being male, 80% um, male and 20% women. So based on this nature of having the youth and some type of rebellious nature to, you know, just growing up, I thought of an idea to market my brand locally. And this would be to um, graffiti stencils of my hood and to just build brand awareness and, you know, just people that are interested in art and the streetwear and just hip hop and um, the culture. Just some ways that I'm implementing to expand my brand. Um, I just recently hired um, a friend slash intern and I made him my senior director. He's a photographer, social media manager, and I pay him contingent on sales. So he takes about 10% on sales. I'm currently saving 40% of my profits to make more content, um, promotion, and future collections. Thank you, Justin. I think you did a great job. And um, okay, so we are now going to deliberate. And when we come back, and when you guys come back, we will decide who else will be joining Caleb in the finale. So we're gonna take 20 minutes. <laughs> Justin already left. <laughs> Caleb, although it was good, um, it felt lazy to me. And maybe because he knew he's in the finale or whatever. Um, and he said something in the presentation that confused me because everyone wants to do a signature item and how you scale it. And he mentioned head wraps, but then he also mentioned bodysuits. And I was like, oh, wait, am I looking at the head wrap or, or the bodysuit? I don't, know, I don't know much about like design, but because it was two pieces, that's what, if it was one piece, I was all in. And it all is one piece. It's one piece or two pieces? It's one, but I, it but it, it um morphs into two pieces. It can be a bodysuit, and know. then you take, it, you take it down, and it can be a dress. Devon is very smart. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's pointing out is what I, why I ask questions. But if you're not careful, that double layering on the body can can look a bit mm, unfinished and, and raw and not really elevated. The quality of the material, even just from the computer um, that PM had for his garment, the quality was there. The stitching looked amazing. I was just confused about it being one piece or two pieces. But you're right, creatives and numbers don't always go hand in hand. He was almost saying too much and not knowing just pick a good, the magic number. Um, yeah. But it's a sellable product right now, um, even beyond the bandana materials. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for all of your time and all your hard work. So, the first person who's going to be in the finale next week, of course, is Caleb, who um, had a immunity from the last challenge so great job Caleb and great job this week and we will see you next week I just want to say I'm so happy that I was able to like be a part of this experience especially with two close friends that I met during this crazy time wait you guys have been talking hanging out outside of here that's amazing well we all went to, we went to school together. together oh I joined in your heart that's Oh wow! Cool. It's the FIT connection. Yes. Yeah. As soon as as soon as we leave the main room, we go right onto a Facetime call <laughs> in our own little room. Oh, I would love to hear that. that be on a fly on the water, that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so it is between Justin and PM for the finale next week. And who will be in the finale next week is, drum roll, Casey. <laughs> who will be in the finale next week is Justin. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Justin. PM, you did a great job. That's yes, you right. did. You saying. definitely did. And PM, unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to you. We were so happy to have you in the competition. I'm so glad that you made it this far. Um, you know, as uh, you did a great job, we would love to have three people in the finale, but of course, that's not how the competition works. I'm not sure I can't even say anything. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Casey. I was going to say something, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, PM, and hopefully John edits this out of the, the, the post edit, but I actually wanted you to be in it, but unfortunately you didn't have immunity and someone else did um, th this week. Otherwise it would have been you and Justin. And it wasn't that necessarily Caleb was not as good. Caleb to me, and we said this to him, I think he relied on the fact that he had immunity, so he didn't bring it like he had brought it, the reason why he won the prior week, which then put us in a space to then have to pick straws. I don't like elimination nights. I only want to be in the ones that we like talk to them about stuff. I don't like I don't like choosing people. So do I go in the room or something? I'll just shut up. <laughs>